Hello all, welcome to RCT Online. I am Hari Krishan C, Assistant Professor, Mechanical Engineering Department, Rajagiri School of Engineering and Technology. In this lecture series, we will be discussing about ME366 Advanced Metal Joining Technology, Module 5. In this particular lecture, we will be discussing about Plasma Arc Welding. Before going to the presentation, I am explaining the just a brief of the contents. First, we will discuss the need of plasma arc welding, why scientists are using that or industries are using that and the physics behind plasma arc, arc welding and next is the equipment used for plasma arc welding, then different modes, different varieties that we will study and actually the plasma arc welding is developed from tungsten inert gas welding. So we will study the comparison between tungsten inert gas welding and plasma arc welding. Then we will study what are the process parameters and as well as the advantages, disadvantages and the applications of plasma arc welding. Actually going to the physics, plasma is the fourth state of matter. There is a, when a gas, there is an interesting parameter is about plasma is, if anybody is asking you that, which is the most present state of matter in the observable universe is, in fact, it is 90 percentage of the matter is uh, plasma. So, uh, it is the most present form of energy uh, state of matter in this observable universe. How it is formed when a gases, uh, electricity is passes through a gas, gas, then the gases get ionized and when we are improving the rate of ionization, positive charge and negative charge separates. It gets separated to cations and anions and charged atoms and differently mix in the mixed state. So, it provides high electrostatic force for the mixture and it gives high energy state. So, this mixture can be used for some mechanical applications. What are the applications? Plasma state can be used for metal cutting, metal spraying and welding. Uh, here, when we are trying to make plasma, we will be using electricity to convert a charged a gas, a compressed gas or a normal gas to plasma. Going to the history of uh, plasma arc welding, in 1881, there was, they invented plasma torch, but it not used until nearly 45 years later. In 1925, first plasma test device was discovered and in 1953, Robert M. Gage invented plasma arc welding. There is an interesting fact in uh, discovery of plasma arc welding, but he was behind another problem and he was melting titanium ingot and using an arc and he used some shielding gas to protect it and he found an interesting observation when he is doing this process. The gases, the, no, the color of the flames and the color of the arc, there he finds some correlation between that and he studied on that and he converted or he passed these two through a nozzle and he find some high energy state when he passed these uh, gas and arc through a nozzle and it came to the discovery of or invention of this uh, plasma arc welding and it was patented in 1957 and uh, this technology was uh, used for precision cutting and welding and also later it is developed for plasma coating and it is one more interesting factor is that in uh, the Saturn rocket, the 
moon bound Saturn rocket, the turbine blades are coated by plasma coating method. Actually, we will we will discuss how the plasma welding process works. Consider an electrode. And this is supplied with a plasma gas. And this is shielded by a shielding gas. And the electrode is connected with negatively charged DC supply and the workpiece is connected with positively charged. This is the root map of this process. Here a plasma is supplied here and electrode is up here and when it passes through the nozzle some arc is produced here and the neat diagram I will give in the next slide. This is the slide. This is the electrode and this portion is called the nozzle and here the plasma gas is supplied and this is the shielding gas is supplied and this is the shape of the arc and shielding gas provides a shield as well as a shape to the weld and this is the surface where we are going to weld and gas tungsten arc welding before uh, discussing plasma arc welding we have to discuss about gas tungsten arc welding the same as TIG. TIG is also known as gas tungsten arc welding and here the electric arc is produced between an electrode and the workpiece this is the electrode and workpiece sometimes the arc is produced in between electrode and the nozzle these are called transferred and non-transferred that we will discuss soon and uh, the here it will be passing through a nozzle so that nozzle is pressurizing this plasma and we will get maximum energy here one interesting fact is when we are going with a normal welding process maximum temperature obtained is 4000 degrees celsius but in this process we will get more than 10000 degrees celsius so we can weld easily without any filler material and here we can observe there are many textbooks are defining different range here um, uh, 50,000 Fahrenheit and 20, 28 degrees Celsius that is the arc temperature we will get the same near to that temperature will obtain at the weld surface and we will define plasma arc welding like any welding process we will be de defining this it is a welding process or it's an arc welding process where the coalescence is produced by heat obtained from constricted arcs set up between electrode and nozzle or electrode and job two types either the arc set up between electrode and nozzle or electrode and job which is the electrode electrode is a tungsten alloy or a tungsten elect tungsten pure tungsten so we will define it again plasma arc welding is an arc welding process 
where in the coalescence is produced by heat obtained from a constricted arc setup between a tungsten alloy tungsten electrode and the water cooled nozzle why we need a water cooled nozzle because the temperature is very high so we need a water cooling so um, we will get a smooth flow of plasma but the, it is very fine bored copper tube is used for um, this process and we will see Uh, the video of plasma arc welding here a skilled person a person is operating the plasma arc uh, welding torch and he is trying to weld a T joint uh, of a pipe and this robotic arm is contoured with this pipe so he is just moving this uh, just starting an initiation command is giving but is automatically moving it is uh, contoured with the surface so it is moving in the surface and we can see the finish obtained here very fine finish is obtained if you are going with any natural process there will not get that much finish and it cannot be finished in that much faster so in this process we will get a smooth finish in minimal time that is the advantage of plasma arc welding and um, we can obtain a leak proof joint also we can vary the thickness of the plasma arc welding by varying current or the plasma gas velocity and we will obtain a smooth finish here here you can see how uh, smooth he is welding uh, but uh, we need not need a we don't need a uh, skilled labor for that also the machine know how to contour that just a start and stop option and def definition of the contour is just required for this process and we will define the variants of plasma arc welding one is transferred arc mode and non transferred arc mode transferred arc mode and non transferred arc mode where the arc is if the transferred arc mode electrode and workpiece arc is struck between electrode and workpiece in non transferred electrode and nozzle which will be higher temperature when the arc is struck in workpiece it gives high temperature and high energy so arc is struck between electrode and workpiece used for high speed welding because high energy is delivered there and it is used for common ceramics or and uh, aluminum alloys copper alloys and titanium alloys nickel alloys etc we can weld using transferred arc mode non transferred arc mode in this non transferred arc mode electrode and nozzle is the term electrode and nozzle is important and arc is struck between electrode and nozzle and very important thing is this is the figure this is the transferred arc mode three things to note one the arc is formed in between electrode and workpiece here arc is formed between electrode and the nozzle second point the positive and negative uh, negative and positive charge where the positive charge is connected here positive charge is connected to the workpiece here the positive charge is connected to the nozzle and third point is depth of weld depth of penetration depth of penetration is high in transferred arc and non transferred arc depth of penetration is less because the tail flame or plasma effluent is touching the surface and different modes we can use either micro plasma or medium current or keyhole plasma in micro plasma the micro plasma arc can be operated at very low welding currents why because uh, when we need a thin weld we will be reducing the current and decreasing the width of the weld and we will obtain a proper weld proper deep weld weld and uh, the dimensions of the weld and arc is given here and next one is medium current and if you are increasing the current of the uh, plasma then there is a chance of turbulence is there but we need a controlled atmosphere to minimize that next one is keyhole plasma keyhole plasma is um, uh, when we studying the laser welding it is very uh, non process the keyhole shaped weld is obtained because deep penetration is obtained and surface tension the weld base is going behind and that is the keyhole keyhole welding for the keyhole plasma the current used is over 100 amps 
and micro medium and keyhole is separated with the current range 0 0.1 to 15 and 15 to 200 and over 200 in some textbooks it is given as 0 0.1 to 10 and 10 to 100 and 100 and above both are is a, is a classification of a range don't worry and next one is the key process variables in plasma arc welding first one is current we studied about micro plasma medium and high or keyhole plasma in uh, current may vary from 0.5 amps to uh, 1200 amps and it may be constant or pulsed frequencies we can apply and gases we can we have to apply uh, plasma gas and shielding gas and some alternated gas to control the uh, surface quality as well as different types of welding and the type of AC wave used and for aluminium and magnesium we will be defi defining some particular waves for different different material we have to define the peaks and structure of the wave that we can give using some controlling supply and welding current and pulsing this is the same current pulse is also important the rate of current pulse can be improved and the weld quality can be controlled and gas flow rate how the gas flow is uh, given to the surface if the higher rate of gas is supplied high energy density so higher material uh, fusion rate is happening now we will discuss the difference between plasma arc welding and tungsten inert gas welding actually plasma arc welding is an advanced version of tungsten inert gas welding tungsten inert gas welding is also known as gas tungsten arc welding gtaw in which there will be using an electrode and a shielding gas here in plasma arc welding we will be using two, two gases which are the plasma gas and shielding gas and here in tungsten inert gas welding we will be using only shielding gas and in uh, plasma arc welding we will be using a constricted arc constricted arc means we will be passing the arc to the nozzle where we will be energizing and that, that energy density is used for making the collapses and the temperature is about 11,000 here uh, the here we are using a constricted arc in the case of tungsten inert gas we will be using an open uh, space for, there is no particular uh, design nozzle is used here we are using a constricted arc for making the collapses and temperature about 11,000 degrees celsius in plasma arc welding we know that in tungsten arc welding the temperature range is around 4000 degrees celsius and here we have deep penetration is achieved tungsten inert gas welding we have less uh, penetration is obtained in thick here no filler material is required there may or may not be we will be using filler material in tungsten inert gas welding because here the temperature is very very high the temperature itself can fuse the metal and join them and here the metal deposition rate is faster here comparing with the TIG in PAW and inert gas consumption is very high why inert gas consumption is very high because the temperature is very high and the energy state is very high shielding gas and plasma gas they are utilized continuously so the inert gas consumption is very high and costly welding equipment yes it is very costly comparing with tungsten inert gas welding then cutting of hard and brittle, brittle material is possible because the temperature is very much flexible so we can use this technique for cutting hard and brittle materials then we will discuss the advantages of plasma arc welding first we will discuss about the metal deposition rate metal deposition rate is very very fast in the previous video we discussed about how fast it can weld uh, some complex welding processes permits faster metal deposition rate and arc travel speed so we can do it faster and penetration here the penetration is uniform and we can obtain high welding rate 
then we will discuss about the stability of arc stability of arc is excellent and the welding quality is also excellent stability of arc is very very important for the surface finish so here the stability of arc is good then uh, we can control the pulses and control the arc and stability is very good we will get radiographic quality weld because the stability is high we will obtain high quality weld in this next we will discuss we can weld steel pieces up to about half inch thick that uh, we can in the normal process in this dimension uh, welding up to this dimension is a little difficult using plasma arc welding we can obtain this, that thickness and the, this can be converted semi-automatic as well as automatic because when we are using semi-automatic or automatic we need not use a skilled operator for operating uh, the machine we, a semi-skilled operator can also operate this just robotic arm can be operated and we will get an auto automatic process and process very very fast and clean in from the video we observed that and requires less operator skill due to good tolerance of arc that we all discussed and high penetrating capacity why it is high penetrating controlling the velocity of plasma and controlling the current we can vary the range of energy density of plasma like that we can uh, control the welding process then we will discuss about the disadvantages here uh, in this process infrared and uv radius are produced so it is little hazardous so we need to shield this perfectly otherwise it will be uh, harmful for the operator and next we will discuss uh, uh, inert gas consumption is high why it is inert, inert gas consumption is high that I also discussed inert gas consumption is high because the temperature rate is very high so for shielding it consumes more inert gas and high power electrical equipment is required as we need a high energy density we will go for high current so we need high power elect, uh, electrical equipment and high no noise around the 100 decibel and weld only up to 25 mm thickness and high distortion and wide welds wide weld because wide weld means width of the weld when the heat is high it may affect increase in heat affected zone that may lead to wide welds and more chance of electrical hazards what are the applications in uh, aerospace industries uh, as well as marine applications we are using this as we discussed uh, in some turbine blades we are using this stainless tubes and pipes welding mostly applicable for electronic industries and tool and die processing we are using because the temperature is very high the harder and brittle materials also can be processed so we can uh, wide range of applications are there and coat, this is also used for coating the turbine, turbine blades this method because as we are increasing the temperature we will get a fusible spray so the coating process also can be obtained Other, um, in Saturn rocket the turbine blades are used coated using plasma process and uh, some uh, typical example of welding is aluminium titanium steels can be welded and some researches are going for the cast uh, iron uh, nodular iron and related to cast iron ranges and nickel silver bronzes brasses and lead zinc researches are going with this um, and there is uh, possible but not popular areas are uh, mentioned like brasses nickel silver lead zinc etc so uh, for references you can check uh, these areas richard a little uh, welding and welding technology and uh, we will meet again with another lecture video stay tuned thank you